Right, I've got an extra question for this tag. What's the tackiest Christmas decoration you can find around the house? It's definitely this one. I mean, it's a bauble with a reindeer face. And the worst part is you can turn it on. And the f***ing nose starts flashing. Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel and in particular to another Christmassy video because today is Christmas Eve, well depending on when you're watching this it might not be Christmas Eve anymore but today is Christmas Eve and I want to do another Christmassy video so I'm doing the Christmas tag because I've seen a few people doing these Christmas tags the last few weeks and I really enjoy watching these because it's kind of interesting to see how other people spend their Christmas and I don't know, I really enjoy watching Christmas tags so I want to do one as well. I didn't go tag as usual, nobody tags me, but I'm going to tag a few people hopefully in the end of this video and I'm also taking you if you want to do this if you're watching this go ahead do it anyway I couldn't find this one particular Christmas tag online so I just butchered a few Christmas tags and chose all the questions I like the most and kind of made my own Christmas tag I'm explaining way too much for this to be just a Christmas tag so I don't know I've got a few questions I'm gonna answer them and they are Christmas themed so <laughs> let's start when do you start getting excited for Christmas so I usually get excited for Christmas after Halloween I love to get into the Christmas spirit even earlier but I can't I don't know it doesn't feel Christmassy when Halloween is over it's kind of Okay, autumn is over, now we can get into winter, and now it can be Christmas. So usually at the start of November, I start pumping last Christmas and try to get into the Christmas spirit. It doesn't work all the time, like sometimes it just doesn't feel Christmassy, but at the end of November, I'm already balls deep. I don't want to say balls deep. Um, I'm fully into the Christmas spirit, and I love Christmas. I really love Christmas, if you haven't noticed already. So, the end of November is usually late for me to get into Christmas. After Halloween, I'm on it. That was a very long answer for such an easy question. What is your favourite Christmas film? So, I've already told you guys that I'm not really a film person. I don't really watch films. I don't really go to the cinema. I just watch YouTube all the time. <laughs> what, what can I do? So, naturally, I don't know any Christmas films but I've seen that one anime it's called five centimeters per second and it's kind of Christmassy I think it plays around at Christmas time well at least it's snowing <laughs> so it takes place during winter that's enough for me but it's a very good anime if you haven't seen it give it a watch it's very emotional and very snowy <laughs> I'm not good at film critiques so sorry <laughs> I don't know if it's necessarily a Christmas movie but it's the only one I can remember watching that is kind of Christmassy. <laughs> so, five centimeters per second, my favorite Christmas film. Uh, I'm not a film person, sorry. What's your favorite Christmas song? So this is very difficult for me because I don't have a favorite song, like in general, because I love music and I can't decide. I love so many songs. So the same goes for Christmas songs. I pretty much like every Christmas song because I love Christmas and I love music. So I managed to narrow it down to two different songs. I can't decide between them. It's either Driving Home for Christmas by Chris Rear, just an awesome song. It's more of that classic kind of Christmas song. I love the piano. I love the chords. I love the solo. I love the mood that the lyrics give you. And probably because we as a family, we drive a lot during Christmas. This song feels like home for me. So it's either this or Cheer Up It's Christmas by Wiley. And I know that this is not your typical Christmas song and I don't know if any of you really know this song but it's a really interesting different Christmas song because the lyrics are hilarious and at the end of the day it's still grime more emotional grime but still grime I'm a big Wiley fan and this song is just really funny but at the same time emotional but it's a really good song if you haven't heard it definitely give it a listen can't decide both are very different but very good in their own ways if that makes sense Anyway, is your Christmas tree real or fake? Um, sadly, it's fake. When I was younger, we used to get real Christmas trees. We went into the forest and cut one down, and that was a Christmas tree. Um, not, not illegally, like, we paid money to cut our own Christmas tree. Um, that sounded like we were just stealing Christmas trees. We were not stealing Christmas trees. <laughs> we just cut them down ourselves. But nowadays, my dad doesn't really want to get a real Christmas tree anymore. I'd love to get a real Christmas tree because... I love Christmas trees and I love Christmas, I can't say enough, but we don't so I just have my little plastic Christmas tree. I mean it's not as good as a real Christmas tree but 
It looks kind of cute, to be honest. I like it. It's better than nothing. Do you peek at gifts or do you like a surprise? Well, nowadays, I like a surprise, but when I was younger, it was really difficult. Like, as a kid, you're super excited. You can't handle Christmas at all, and you have to wait for your presents, and you know that they're lying around the house somewhere. I couldn't contain myself, and I used to peek all the time. And I remember that one time, I saw a rat present lying around the house, and actually, in my childish excitement, I opened it and it turned out not to be for me so i tried to cover the fact that i just opened that present and tried to rewrap it but i didn't get new wrapping paper i just tried to cover it up with the old rip wrapping paper and as you can imagine that didn't go well <laughs> so my mum naturally noticed and she got really mad with me and after that happened i think i didn't peek at gifts anymore i don't peek anymore promise do you have any christmas traditions well, it's kind of a tradition that we spend Christmas Eve with my dad's side of the family. So on Christmas Eve, we'll visit my aunt and have Christmas dinner there and meet my dad's side of the family, more or less. And on Boxing Day, me and my mom will visit my mom's side of the family. And they live quite far away, so we have to drive four to five hours to get there. And we'll spend a few days there and meet my mom's side of the family. And yeah, that's kind of a tradition. Like, ever since I was little, we, we were doing that that way. But we don't really have Christmas traditions in the classical sense to like read poems and after that we're going to unwrap the presents or something none of that really what are you going to be wearing for christmas day i'm going to be wearing this exact outfit for christmas day it's look number three in my christmas lookbook yes i've made a christmas lookbook with five different christmas looks if you haven't seen it go check it out link will be somewhere around here and as i said look number three i'm going to be wearing exactly that for christmas because it's my favorite christmas sweater <laughs> It jingles, but I think you already know that if you've seen my Christmas look book. It doesn't get any better than this, so this is my Christmas look 2017. Be honest, do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? Well, I think that's something that changed over time as well, because as a kid, you obviously like receiving gifts more, because gifts are awesome, and it's stuff you get for free, and it's stuff you want most of the time. But as I've gotten older, and as I don't get that many presents anymore, I really like giving gifts, because I'm that person that really thinks about what they are going to get for different people and I'm really putting way too much effort into finding the perfect gift for the person I'm giving it to so when I spent way too much time on finding that perfect present and I can finally give it to that person and they open it and they really like it it gives me so much joy I don't know I think nowadays I like giving presents more than receiving them and that's my honest opinion I'm not just saying that for the video what would you like for Christmas well that's a question I don't want to hear anymore to be honest because I've heard that question at least 20 times from my mum my dad my grandparents my everyone <laughs> please stop asking me this question I don't want anything for Christmas I don't know I really want nothing for Christmas to be honest I should have said all I want for Christmas is you but it's too late now. Ah. So not really a Christmassy question, but what was your highlight of 2017? <laughs> well, there are a few highlights, to be honest. Um, first of all, I started a YouTube channel and I've amassed over 13,000 subscribers. That is f***ing mental, and that is definitely a highlight. And also, I got sponsored by Bastard Boards this year, and that's also really crazy because I want to get sponsored for quite a while now, and this year it finally happened. Honestly, not that much has changed after getting sponsored, but it was a point on my bucket list, and I can finally cross that off, and that was a highlight. And also, this year I found a job that I really do like, and that's something that's really awesome because not too many people have got an opportunity to work in a job that they really do like in such a great environment with colleagues that are so awesome. It's awesome, it's a highlight for me, definitely, as well. So, I'd say my YouTube channel, me getting sponsored, and me finding a really awesome job definitely free highlights this year. Uh, it was a good year. It was a really good year. And finally, do you have any New Year's resolutions for 2018? Well, I'm not that guy to make New Year's resolutions because I think the concept is a little bit strange because I think you can make resolutions all year round. You don't necessarily have to wait till New Year's. So I don't really make New Year's resolutions, but I made one last year and it was to make a YouTube channel and upload a video every single week of the year. And I kind of completed that because I started in February, so a little bit late. But since then, I've uploaded a video every single week and I'm going to continue till February to complete my New Year's resolution. But I'm very happy with where I am and what is happening right now. So I think I don't need to drastically change anything. So I'm not really making New Year's resolutions for 2018. But that's all I have for you for this week. I hope you've enjoyed this little Christmas tag and I hope you've enjoyed getting to know me and my Christmas traditions. 
I don't know what I... You know what I mean. I'm obviously tagging all of you guys to do this as well. So if you want to do this, go ahead. Maybe it's a little bit late because the year's almost over. But maybe do it next year or whenever you want. And I know a few of you don't celebrate Christmas. But I want to encourage you to do this tag as well. But for the fest you're celebrating. I love to get to know stuff about different cultures. So I'd love to watch your videos about the fest you're celebrating. So if you're doing this, definitely let me know and send me your videos because I'd love to see them. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one and I hope I've inspired you with this one. If I did so, why not give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to become part of the Dapper family. And I'm just going to say Merry Christmas or Merry end of the year time if you don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is have an awesome rest 2017 and I'm going to see you on New Year's Eve with a special video. Until then, bye!